Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about a powerful integration between two applications. One is nifty.pm, which is a project management tool and other is Airtable, which is a database application. So guys, if you are looking for a seamless way to keep the track of all your tasks, look no further because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the tasks that you have nifty.pm as records in Airtable automatically. So guys, if you are a project manager, this can be really helpful to you because with the help of this automation, you can not only organize your tasks, but you it this automation is going to allow you to visualize your uh, tasks progress and you can prioritize your workload as well. So for project managers, this integration can be a game changer. So stay tuned and let's get started. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So I have pasted this link in the description so you can just sign up right now. After that, you have to sign in and select the Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as nifty.pm2 Airtable. Okay. After giving such names, you can just click on create button and you can see your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of the, these two things, we can set up any automation. So trigger is that event which is going to start a workflow and the action would be an automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So in this use case, guys, uh, we are going to create a task in nifty.pm and that it is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be to create a record of the task in Airtable. So here guys, you have to choose your trigger application. So our trigger application is nifty PM. Okay. Then you have to select the trigger event as task created. So you will find a task created option here, select it. Then it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL. And with the help of this, we are going to create a connection with nifty. So you need to follow these steps written here to create this connection. After that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. So first of all, let's open my nifty application. This is it. And uh, here guys, you will find this profile icon on the top right hand side. And from here, you have to click on this profile settings option. Under profile settings page, you will find this app center on the left hand side panel. Click on it. Under app center, you will find this integrate with API option. Click on it. Here you have to click on this create a new app button. Here you can give a name to the, your app. So I'm giving the name here as to Airtable records or to Airtable. Here you can provide a description as for task records. You can provide any other description as well. All right, here it is asking for the redirect URL. Here you can uh, type any redirection address like your website's address. Okay. All right, then it is asking select app scopes. So you have to provide access to this application to these scopes. So I want to uh, track the tasks. So I'm giving the scope for this application to tasks. So I'm checking the tasks box. After that, click on create button. And you can see a new app is created. Now you have to click on this configure button. And under the configuration page, you will find this add webhook button. Click on it. And here it is asking for the endpoint URL. So in this field, you have to paste this URL that you got in your workflow. So just click on copy from here and paste this URL here in the endpoint URL field. All right. After that, you will find these options here. So from these options, click on tasks and check this task created box. Okay. So when you check this box, whenever you are going to create a new task here, that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. After that, click on create webhook button. And that's how you can add a webhook connection. So we are done here creating a connection. 
and here you can see as we have copied the URL from here, it started showing waiting for the webhook connections response. This means now you have to perform a test submission. Test submission means we are going to create a new task manually and the details of the task will be captured here in the response section and with the help of that data we are going to move forward in this automation. So I'm going back to my nifty project management tool and here let me open the task section. Alright, so I'm under this project named as Pavli project and here is the task section. So here we have add a task button, click on it, then click on tasks. And here you can give a name to this task. So I'm giving the name as demo task, let's see. And in the description, I'm writing for creating automation. Okay, here you can select your project. Here you can select the status and the due date, you can set a due date. Okay, and you can assign any person to this task also. And after that, click on add a task button and this task will be added here like this. You can see the task is added. Now let, let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured. So here you can see guys, we got the data captured of a new task like this. It is showing the message as successfully created. And here it is showing this ID guys. Okay. And event type is task created but it is not showing the task name, the due date or the description, anything. So guys, uh, we are going to fetch the task details by connecting Nifty here in the section step. And here we are going to use a action event to fetch the task details. So select Nifty PM again in this action step. And the action event we are going to use here is this get object by ID. So with the help of this, you can retrieve the details of the objects like tasks, projects or portfolios, etc. Select this option and click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Nifty. And it will bring you to this window. And from here, guys, uh, you have to select your workspace name. Okay. And then you have to click on allow to give the access to Pavli Connect in your project management tool, then the authorization will be successful and you will be connected like this. Then it will ask for the object type. So from here you have to select the type as task, then it will ask for the object ID. So here we are going to enter this ID that we got here. Okay, this one. And I'm going to map this ID uh, uh, here in this field like this. So to map the ID here, you just have to click here on this field and the previous step will appear in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data right here. From here, you can map the ID like this. Okay, then click on save and send test request button. <laughs> all right, so actually, uh, this is not the ID we are going to use, we need to use this data ID. Okay, let me change it. Click on nifty PM again. And from here, map this data ID, not the trigger ID, map the data ID, then click on save and send test request. And you can see now it started showing the details of the name of the task. Okay. And here you can see the subtask details. And here you can see the description is here. The due date is here. That's how you can capture the details of the task. So when you map the data ID like this, uh, in real time, whenever you are going to create a new task, this is going to trigger and the data will be updated here in this label and you will get new details of the new tasks. Okay. So here guys, uh, you can see in Airtable, let me show you my Airtable's database. Here I am adding these details of the tasks, the, na the name, the description and the due dates. So we have received the names and the descriptions but in due date, you can see the due date is it is in this format. Okay, but I want to save the date in this standard format. For that, I'm going to change the dates format using a feature of Pavli Connect, which is called date time formatter. So just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up here. From here, I'm going to search for date time formatter feature of Pavli Connect. Okay, 
So with the help of this feature, we can change the formats of the dates and the time. So select the action event now as format date with time zone. Okay, then click on connect. And these fields will appear right here. So guys, it will ask for the date of which you want to change the format of. So we have received the due date in this label. So I'm going to map it here. So just click here. And from this second step, map the date label. Here is the due date, map it, okay? And here it is asking from format. That means from which format you have received the date. So we have received the date in this format. You can see it is YY, MM, DD, and a T in between, then hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is the same format already selected here. So you need not to do anything here. Just come here in, into two format field. And here you have to select that format which you want to uh, fetch out or which you want to send to Airtable. So in Airtable, I'm saving the date in this format. DDMMYYY. Okay, so I'm going to select this one here. DD slash MM, not this one. This one. DD slash MM slash YYYY. Okay, select this. Then it will ask for the time zone. So you have to select your time zone. My time zone is was Asia Kolkata. And I want to keep the time zone as it is. So I'm going to select Asia Kolkata again. Okay. And now you can click on save and send test request button. And you will get a result label here in which you will get the format changed of the date like this. Okay. Right. So this is how it is going to work. And now let it is time to send this data to a table okay for that just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up from here you can search for a table and select it and then select the action event as create record then click on connect from here select a new connection and here it will ask for the api key or the token of a tables application so guys you need to follow these instructions return here to get your personal access token so you have to go to the developer hub section then click on create new token add name then you can read the instructions let me show you directly so guys first of all you need to reach the a tables base from here you will find this profile icon right here from here click on accounts and this is the will be the accounts page and here you can see under the API section, it is showing API keys will be deprecated by the end of January 2024. After that, you have to migrate to personal access tokens that will allow you to more secure, securely connect with API access of Airtable's data. So you can click on this create token button to get your personal access token. But right now I have already have a API key. So I can use this right now after January 2024 we are going to use this method okay so i am just using this right now and i'm going to click on uh, i have copied the key now let me paste the key here and click on save and you will be connected with a table all right so we are now connected and here it is asking for the base id so guys the name of my base is nifty tasks so i'm going to select the base id from this given list these are all the bases I have. Okay. All right. So I've selected the base ID and now it is asking for the table ID. So I have only one table here named as table one and it is auto populated and here started showing the name, the description and the due date. So these are the headers I have in this table name, description and due date. So I'm going to map these things from the previous steps. So from the first second step, we have got the details of the task like this and here we got the due date changed into this format so let us map these things so just click here on this name field and from the second step map the name label of the task then for the description use the second step only and you will find the description label map it and in the due date field use this third step and map the result label okay after that, you can check your connection with a table by clicking on save and send test request button. And this data that you have mapped here will be added here in a new row in front of you. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And this is the response we got here. Let us check in our base if we got the data added. So let me refresh my base. 
and here you can see guys uh, we got a new row added with the name demo task this is the description and this is the date so this is the same data that we had here in nifty now we got the same data here in a table so both of the things are connected now and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in the workflow after that whenever you are going to create a new task in nifty the same details of the task will be added inside a table space in a new row automatically you do not even have to look that workflow again okay so guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free pably connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel